Another day had just begun, and the garden was coming to life. Down at the bottom of the garden, near the shed, was an old broken sundial that nobody wanted. And on the sundial was a snail. A snail with an unusual thought. I wonder why jam tastes so much better than mud. Just to remind himself, Mr. Harrison licked a little bit of mud. Oh, no, no, no. That won't do at all. It should be jam-flavored. Someone should be told. Told what? It was suppose, the worm. And he had a cold. Told about jam. Uh, 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 oh, dear. I suppose this job isn't any good for a cold, is it? Any good for a cold? Let me see. It's good for stomachs. At least it's good for mine. By colds, you buy those, not you buy Toby. Mm. Was it here or behind the shed? Was it round or long with sort of stripes? Morning, Ariadne. Lost something? But, but yes, but I can't remember what or where. I know I saw it early on. At least I think I did. Sort of round and red with spots. Have you seen it, suppose? Round and red, like, um... Like, like your nose. Oh, I've got a cold dear my nose. Lovely and squishy. I'd love a nose like that myself. Suppose is not at all well, Ariadne. He's going to see if some jam will cure his cold. Jam? Jam! That's it. Just remembered where I saw the red spotted dub, the thing. I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye. Ta-ta. A cheerio and uh, so on. This way, I suppose. Nearly there. Oh, I do hope so. My nose is played up. It's very delicate, you know. That's not to say the rest of me isn't. I have problems all over, most of the time. <laughs> when suppose the worm and Mr. Harrison the snail arrived at the jam jar, Lambeth the beetle and Anorak the pillbug were there already. Morning, Harrison. Spiffing day. Morning, Lambeth. And, uh, <clears throat> woodlouse? I'm not a woodlouse, Mr. Harrison. I'm a pill bug. Bug. Louse. What's the difference? Now, suppose has a bit of a cold. I thought a drop of jam would do him good. Oh, yes. Jam is good for horse sorts. I build up my muscular bulgifications with it. But you have to be very careful. It can make tummies very fat. Ow! Look, that jam, it moved. It moved? I thought you said that jam didn't move. Well, normally it doesn't. Oh! oh. I say, it did it again. Yes, well, uh, I don't think I should be anywhere near moving jam. Hang on a tick. I can hear something. It's going glub. Exactly. Isn't that strange? I never thought for a second jam would go glub. Best to move back and not take any chances. This jam could well be dangerous. Oh, Lambeth, I don't think there's anything such as dangerous jam. How do you know? There could be. You're only saying that because you have never been attacked by any. It moved, didn't it? It might be waiting to pounce. I'll tell you what, I'm off again. You didn't tell me that jam could pounce, either. Well, uh, you, you can't always tell with jam. But I must admit, it can be moody. Uh, begging your pardon, Mr. Harrison, I don't think it was the jam that moved. It was something in the jam. 
probably your brain, Lambeth. Then again, who's to say you ever had one? Something in the jam, indeed. Whatever would find its way into our jam. The uh, ladybird, by the look of it. Is this ladybird jam, then? Don't be ridiculous, suppose. You don't get ladybirds in jam. Damn, it's right, you know. It is a ladybird. Really? What on earth are you doing in there? Oh, help me. Help. Help. You never told me that jam glurped. Or shouted for help, either. Oh, you've seen the spotty thing. It's marvellous, isn't it? Trouble is, I can't get it out. Harry Adney, that is not an it. It's a ladybird. And she's stuck. You might say she's uh, in a jam. <laughs> yes, quite so. Well, must be off then. Goodbye, ta-ta. Cheerio and <laughs> so on. Now, we have a tricky problem here. How do we get her out? A sticky situation, you might say. Oh, come on now. We must think of a way to get Ladybird out. I will think especially hard. Don't strain that brain of yours too much, Lambeth. It might disappear altogether. Suppose we could eat her out. No, no, no. If we do that, the jam will be gone. I have been saving this jam for a special occasion. Uh, 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 oh, oh, hey. Oh, what's happening? Lots of noise and stuff. Ah, the very one to ask. The old and ancient caterpillar. Pleasant day, ancient. What? Day? Yes, it is day, you stupid snail. <laughs> you were just wondering. You wouldn't know how to get a ladybird out of jam, would you? How to get a ladybird out of jam? No, I, 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 I don't know that riddle. How do you get a ladybird out of Amazing. It's only age that can bring wisdom like that. He's probably very wise. But he was a butcher. Hang on. I've had an idea. I can't suppose sneeze her out. Well, I suppose I could try. But I'm not, not happy. happy. I'm, I'm not, not happy. happy. She's not happy either. And she sounds just like me. Yes, well, never mind about that. Just concentrate on sneezing. Think big sneeze. We need the most enormous sneeze to get her out. But I can't sneeze to order. To, to order. order. To, to order. order. To order. Oh, you'll have to try. Mr. Harrison. If you could count to say four, then you sneeze. All right, suppose? Suppose so, 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 so. 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 Mr. Harrison, if you oh, please, what was that? I do then. Let's see now. Oh, yes. oh dear, dear, one. dear. One. Told that silly well, snail he could count. Twenty-one. Oh. In my day, it began Six. with one. Uh, uh, then uh, seventy-three. Uh, two. Uh, then eighty-two. Uh, three. Uh, uh, Oh. 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 oh, I'm wounded. Is there any bruising? You, you, you can tell me. I, I will be brave. No bruising, but a lot of jam, though. Oh, look. Oh, let me say that jam is better on your inside than on your outside. What were you doing in there, Ladybird? Well, I was trying to get out, Lambeth. Trying to get out. Very wise, if I may say so. That is a very useful nose you have there, I suppose. Suppose it is, yes. And as it happens, it's an unborn one. I say, Miss Harrison, you were right about jam. My nose is definitely less squishy, and my cold is better. Excellent, my dear, I suppose. <laughs> well, I hope you've left some for my stomach. After all the problems of today, that feels like a little jam, too. 
So as the creepy Crawleys celebrated Lady Bird's rescue, and supposes cured nose by having some jam for tea, another day came to an end. And they all settled down to watch the sun go down beyond the old broken sundial nobody wanted.